Hi there, this is Bedtime Stories with Grandad and today we've actually got a fantastic story called Fairy Magic. So let's crack on. Her big sister Isla loved to bang drums. Her big brother Ivan loved to play football. Her twin brother Idris loved pretending to be the purple dragon. Isabella didn't hear many of these sounds in her world, was filled with echoes and quiet. Sometimes she wore a listening headband which caught, which brought each sound dancing to her ears. Or sometimes she pointed out her thoughts with her hands. When she was with her twin brother Idris, Isabel, Isabella needed no words at all, as he understood her jokes perfectly. One very noisy morning, Isabel, listened, listening headband, made the world sound sharp, so she took it off and skipped into the woods into the wood of wild flowers. Then beneath the sunlit silence came the tiniest tinkling bell, a movement so soft that not even a mouse could have noticed it. Isabel, who was used to this stillness, felt it like a flutter in her heart. There was a flicker of light then a fairy hovered in front of Isabel on wings of sunshine and grace. My name is Summer Blue, the fairy told her. Isabel gasped. She could, she could understand the fairy perfectly, not hear her, but feel her words like a gentle breeze. We must awaken the woods for summer, smiled Summer Blue, and together they touched each bluebell until Isabel's heart seemed to sing. Softly the woods began to stir, baby birds unfurled their wings, butterflies took flight, the flock of fairies filled the air. In a whirl of wings and wild flowers, Isabel found herself dancing to the secret songs of the wood. Look what the fairies gave me, Isabel smiled at supper, tucking the flowers into her listening headband. There's no such thing as fairies, chuckled Ivan. They don't exist, cried Isla. And everyone started to laugh. Isabel ran upstairs. Idris followed her and held out his hand. Do not, do you believe me? Isabel asked. Idris gently shook his head. The next day, Summer Blue was helping a butterfly dry its wings. None of my family believe you're real, Isabel sighed. Not everyone can feel our magic and the way the way you can, smiled the fairy, and Isabel showed, and she showed Isabel something truly wonderful. Butterflies sense sound through their wings. Dragonflies can hear all they use their incredible eyes. The snails find their way with a sense of smell. They're, they're just like me, said Isabel, her heart fluttering with wonder. Did you know that butterflies don't hear sounds? Isabel beamed at, at supper time. Who told you that, said Ivan. Summer blue the fairy, Isabel said. Fairies don't exist, sighed Isla. They do, it's just that you can't feel their thoughts, Isabel explained, because you are not used to silence. This time, nobody laughed. 
At every bright day, summer blue taught Isabel the secrets of the flowers and the bugs. Idris began to wonder if summer blue was real after all. Then one morning the air was cool, leaves were falling and the woods were empty and still. Isabel ran back to the house. What's wrong? Her family cried. Summer blue's gone. Isabel gasped. Ivan wrapped her in a huge hug. Isla stroked her head. Perhaps she'll be back next summer, she mouthed. Idris knew what to do. He set off into the woods. Autumn sunshine surrounded him like a warm, soft warm cloak and Idris stood still in the silence. Idris needed to tell his twin. He climbed the nearest tree and shook the branches. Isabel followed the trail of tumbling leaves. and gave her brother a look that needed no words. Thank you. I'm Autumn Rose, the fairy told her. Friend of Summer Blue, it's time for Summer to sleep and Autumn to awaken. Isabel took her brother's hand. Let's do it together, she smiled, and they set off happily through the silent trees. There we have an absolutely great story all about fairies.